What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerdcast. So today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Survivalist Invisible Strain. From what I can tell, this is kind of a mixture of like Kenshi, maybe a little bit of, uh, oof, like State of Decay in there. Maybe a little tiny bit of Project Zomboid in there. Now, this game is currently in early access. The developers started working on it and made it available through Steam for you to check out before the game is in its final form. Uh, the previous survivalist game, I am told, is held in very, very high esteem. I never personally played it myself, but the sheer volume of people that I've met over the course of my career that are like, Hey, have you ever played the survivalist? Uh, leads me to believe, especially with how like fervently they advocate for the game, that the previous game is very, very much beloved. So anyways, we're going to check out the sequel here today. We're going to see how it goes. It's in early access, so be forewarned. You may see some rough edges, some bumps and hooks and knobs and stuff. But the developer of this game is very, very well established from the first game and apparently did a really super good job with that one. So, I would guess you could reasonably extrapolate that he's going to do a good job with this one too. And let's go ahead and start off with a new game here. We can play sandbox mode. Sounds good. We got to pick what our character looks like. We got Micah. Randall. Okay. Uh, we will go with... Yeah, Micah Randall's... Randall's... Oh, he's got his own community name, too? Hold on. Alright, so... We got a name... We're gonna call this... Uh, I'm gonna make his first name Randall. Alright? And then his last name is gonna be... I don't know, like Harrison or something? We'll call it uh, Harrison's Horde. That's a good name for him. And then we can choose our age right there. It does actually look like it affects the age of the character, so it's going to add on wrinkles and things. We'll make him, like, 30. It looks like you don't really even age until you start to hit, like, your 50s. That's exactly what happened to my old man. My dad didn't age a single day. My dad looked like a 28-year-old until he was, like, 55. It's that it's those Hawaiian genetics, man. And then let's see here. We'll go skin color. Yeah, I feel like that's more or less like I'm a white dude. He looks pretty... I don't know if that makes me weird, but my characters always look like me in video games. I'd be interested in seeing what a psychiatrist says that that, like, means about you as a person. Like, I, that's one of, like, I don't really put a lot of faith in psycho like psychoanalysts or anything, but, like, that's one of those things that I wish they would do a study on. Like, people who make characters in games that look vastly not like themselves, so they're, like, fantasy characters or, like, monsters or whatever else... And then, like, people who always make their character look just like them online. Like, what is it that makes that? I'd be very, very curious to read. I would definitely read that article. Oh, look at that. They solved the problem of hair. So many MMOs have taught me that if you have a hat on, you can never have hair, like, underneath it. But this game seems to have fixed it just fine. Like, can we have a beard? I would like to have a beard. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. What hair colors do we have available? We can just cycle through. Yeah, this would be like Wasteland Jesus, dude. I'm about it. I uh, don't have freckles, so I'm not going to have freckles. I'm pretty short, so i got to make my height smaller, but it looks like it didn't change the side of my size of my head. So I'm just going to be like a, a dude that has like a big, giant head. Uh, can I zoom out on this? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. So we can have like a tummy, or we can kind of be like, you know, skinny. All right, we'll throw a little bit of, we'll throw like a little bit of muscle in there. All right, cool. Uh, as far as our face goes, oh wow, there is a lot of stuff that we can sort of customize here. Uh, we can throw on like a hobo hat right there. We can have ourselves like a, apparently a cowboy hat. All right. I guess the beanie makes us insulated. I don't know what those little points are, those little rings right there. Maybe that's how valuable it is. I don't know, but each of these gives us like something else. That makes us a little bit stronger, and I kind of like that feature, actually. Oh, so we've got character creation points. Where are our character... Cre oh, close points. Okay. And we start out in the mid-spring. Gotcha. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. And what is that, just changing the tint? Nice, dude. So there's actually, like, a lot of customization here. If you want to make your own character, there really sincerely is. So we can have combat boots, or we can have buckled boots. Um, I'll just go with the cheapest shoes possible. As far as our clothing goes, like, it's mid-spring, so we've got spring and summer before we have to worry about the cold. I'll probably just throw on, like, a, a normal shirt. You know, like, if we got one laying around, we might as well. I'm, I'm gonna try and save points when and where I can, because I'm not trying to get too crazy, but I'd like to have some shades. And then we got two points left. Uh, I'll take the beanie for a little bit of extra insulation, I guess. And then that leaves us with one extra point, so we can go either... So we can either get something slightly better, 
right here. Like, we can get, like, the tracksuit top. Yeah, that works. I can dig that. All right, let's go with it. And then our equipment. So we get to choose what we start out with. Uh, we've got ourselves a bow, and we've got ourselves a Molotov cocktail. I don't really care about the Molotov cocktail, in honesty. I'm not the kind of person that uses throwables very often. No, but I would like to have a melee, and I would like to have a ranged. Those are the two things that, like, have me especially excited. Yeah, I'll start out with a... What does that cost? Two points for a gun? Three points for a machete. Gotcha. What else did we start out with? A skinned rabbit, so that's just, like, food? Okay. Sounds good. Now we've got skill points. We've got our personality right now that we get to decide here. I would say that we should probably... We're idealistic. I'm kind of cynical. I'm like the opposite version of that. Smart, street smart, stupid. We'll go with street smart. That sounds good. And then friendly. I am a pretty friendly guy. I do like people. I've always been kind of a people person. I am loyal. Absolutely. And we'll go with that one right there. Gullible. And I'm super skeptical. Like... I'm skeptical beyond all belief, and I'm kind of like nervous. Like I'm not like a super. I'm bold, but like I'm also kind of nervous. So I don't know. Either one of these could go. I don't know how it's gonna affect gameplay. We'll go with bold, I guess. Uh, I'm doing a YouTube playthrough, so it looks like we've got kind of like an Iron Man mode. But since we're doing like a YouTube play, and we might be doing multiple episodes, if this turns out to be a lot of fun, I need to be able to save whenever we get to the end of an episode. So I'm going to turn off save tokens. Anyone in the world could be infected with the invisible strain, spreading it through your settlement and turning them against you. Okay. Alright, so here we are. Uh, we're new to the area, so we got to find a friendly settlement, or at the bare minimum, a non-hostile one. Okay, so it wants me to go F3 and view my quests. Sounds good. Uh, so there's my character right there. Apparently we've got like a thing on our right hand side, sort of like a comic book. All right, well I got my ax out, so that's easy enough. It looks like we can scavenge from this car. It wants me to go in sneak mode, so I guess I need the power of being piney fresh uh, inside of me. Yeah, I'll take all of that, that sounds good. I don't know what that is that we just took. Oh, 10 matches, that's nice. Matches are actually a super useful trade item in a situation like this. Uh. We've started out in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. I'm gonna grab that stuff right there, even though I don't know what it is. But yeah, something tells me the zombies are gonna be kinda deadly. So I'm gonna like stay down and away from them. Like, maybe maybe avoid doing anything too psychotic. Like, I'm not sure if they aggro each other or anything either if I pull one of them. I don't know how fast they are. I don't know how slow they are. I don't know how crazy... Okay. All right. Uh, it looks like they're pretty fast, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and smack this dude. Yeah, there you go. 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 Give it to him. Apparently, I looted something right there. What did I loot? Gold. Oh, okay, so it's like gold rings, teeth, stuff like that. It's basically like a... It's basically like a physical representer of, like, anything that's valuable that you find while you're out and around. Well, that wasn't so bad. I feel like we handled that zombie, okay? So what about this one? Like, if she's gonna do, like, her, her power jump or anything... Yeah, there you go. We'll just wait for them to power jump, and then we'll beat them to death, and then we'll get a little bit of money because we're heading to town. And I gotta let my I gotta let my racks on racks on racks. You know, oh, that's a he's a raider. Oh, that's not good. That's actually like a human right there. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. Looks like he has a bullet vest on too. Oh, he parries. Interesting. I don't know, man. I don't know why these guys are trying to fight me right now. But they do seem interested in hurting me. So I think I'm going to run for it, dude. Like, I don't think I can fight two guys right now. As much as I would like to think that I could 2v1 like that because I'm an absolute Chad champion, I, I don't think that 2v1ing is going to work out for me. I'm going to run to the hills. I wonder if they lost me. I wasn't expecting to run into humans out here. Oh no, he's still aggroed. So I guess you can't lose them once you aggro them. Maybe if I take them to town, I'll be okay. I'm gonna be unarmed for a minute when I come into town. Alright, that seems like the plan.
Howdy, stranger. What can I do for you? Um, I'm here to trade. Oh! Yo! Those dudes got wasted. Oh my god. Those dudes got annihilated. Are they actually dead or are we good here? Yeah, I'm gonna take everything from my inventory's full. Oh, well, maybe I should sell some of it then. Does this guy have a weapon? So this guy had like a plumbing pipe and something else. What's inside my image? Oh, he had arrows. Nice. I could use those for my bow. That's pretty sweet. Oh, we've got a bandage, right? I didn't take any. I didn't take any damage during that conflict, so I feel like we're we're somewhat okay right now. Uh, we got pipes and other little things. We got a toolkit right there. I do feel like the toolkit is gonna be useful. Oh, you can actually go into like an inventory mode. Okay. Uh, with these dudes, where are you guys going? Damn, these guys are kitted out. Who are these guys? I want to join up with them. Yeah, I'm going to scavenge these zombies. You guys don't worry about it. I'm going to take this stuff. This is all mine now. Yeah, I'm going to get that arrow. And then I'm going to get that arrow right there because I can't even use my bow until I do. So it's sort of like paramount that I get that. Uh, looks like I'm allowed to come into the city and I can just like be a part of the village. So that's nice to know that I've got like a, a fallback area that I can go to if I need to. I'm looking for work. I've been looking for a sparring partner. You fancy your chances, I'll pay you. If I win, you enter, you pay me. That's what we do for entertainment around here. Uh, no, I'm good. What else do you got going on? You got, you got any supplies here? Apparently Abby Cash is the main trader, but I ain't met her yet. It looks like there's very specific things that he wants, and we don't have any of those things. All right, I do like the dialogue system, how, like, everything you can say has just kind of popped up. Which one's Abby Cash, out of curiosity? What's your name? I'm Abigail, and we're the Frozen Snakes. Okay. All right, you got any work? Carrots and cabbages are all really well, but I need some meat. You any good at hunting? Uh... Not much of a hunter. How are you feeling? I'm okay. So apparently these guys are like... Apparently these guys are like chopping down trees and like building this settlement right now as we're speaking. That's kind of like a cool thing. I kind of dig that. Uh, so you've got a gun and you've got seven bullets right there. Sealed containers. Useful for carrying liquids, powders, and stews. Gotcha. All right, well, where's Abby Cash at? Like, do we have her denoted by anything around here? Do I actually have to, like, literally talk to every single person in town? You don't look like an Abigail. You don't look like an Abigail. All right, let's see what you got. Apparently, this man got things he wants to trade with me. He wants to trade with ya boy. I don't really feel like I have that much to trade, though. Like, it seems like most of the items that I have, people are not interested in. Like, so there was stuff I wanted to unload from, like, here. Like, arrows and stuff. I guess I could just eat those. Like, that's fine. How do I tell how hungry I... Oh, there we go. We've got hunger and thirst. Okay, so I'll drink some water. That'll get rid of the thirst right there. Sleep deprivation, too, that we got to worry about. We also have our body temperature, too. So we're, like, right at the sweet spot right now. The top end of the sweet spot, but, sp but still the sweet spot. Uh, who are you? I'm Trevor Vega. Okay. Alright. Who are you? Christian Bernard. It's cool how they, like, fill out and you, like, know these guys after you talk to them and whatnot. That's kind of cool. You guys have any work? Like, that guy doesn't have work. That guy doesn't have work because the option's not there. We need help to get these damn looters off of our back. Talk to Brandon Hickman. Okay. And this is Abby Cash right here. So this is the main trader. We actually managed to find her. Uh, we do have an okay. And we have like five bucks right now. So it's not too terrible. I mean, I don't think we need any of this stuff though. So 
Let's go scavenge, man. That's like half the fun. I keep pressing escape. Like, I default to escape to close any menu or any dialogue in any game that I play. I can't help myself. I just do it naturally. Like, it's just the way that I try to exit out of stuff. Oh, wow. You can get, like, his boots and stuff, too. Yeah, destroy the slacks. And then I'll take this dude's pants. Is his jacket better than my jacket? His jacket's the same. All right, destroy it. This item is too heavy for you to carry the maximum weight anybody can carry. It is dependent on their fitness skill and the size of their backpack. Oh, okay. Oh, that weighs 10 pounds. No wonder I can't pick it up. Good Lord. I can take the boots though. Are those better than what I have? They're the same as what I have. Okay. Oh, I got my pants off right now. I didn't mean to do that. I'm not trying to show off booty cheek right now in the middle of an episode, okay? That wasn't my that wasn't my plan. What does this guy have? You got anything good? You got two insulation right there. Plus one stealth combat pants. Those are even better. And he's got upgraded boots. I'll take all of it. Let me get it. I do like that, how you can actively like swap out gear on people that you kill. Like every person potentially has like stuff on them that you want uh, so what do we do with rags i can sterilize it with alcohol it looks like and we can turn it into a bandage so that's pretty cool and if we had a bottle and we have a match and we have what looks like gas maybe or something we can make a molotov it's probably chemicals would be my guess uh there's stuff to sell over here uh, i guess we should probably take a look around though and just sort of see we got to find a backpack actually that's the first big major thing is does abby have a backpack Um, it looks like she does not have a backpack, so unfortunately that's not going to be an option. Uh, can I cook over here? Well, I don't want to steal it. It looks like somebody else is cooking their food right there, so we'll leave it alone for right now. It's like lavender. I do like how organic the people feel. Like, they're, like, cooking over fires, and they're, like, defending their little civilization, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of cool watching them do that. Like, they've got their own little activities and stuff that they like to do. Uh, let me get a bow. Like, I don't know how good the bow is going to be. Oh, I actually have to, like, aim and shoot the bow. Oh, that's cool. I didn't expect that. Scavenge a little bit more. What are, what are those syringes right there? What do those do? A green strain antigen. Let's see here. The green strain takes one week in order to gestate. The antigen has to be administered during that time. So I guess... Am I too hot right now? I bet you that's what that means. I bet you that means I'm too hot. So we need to be insulated up to the line, but not over it would be my guess. So I'll put my shirt back on, but we can take off my hat. There we go. We'll just go, uh, we'll go, we'll go free Jesus locks to the wind. Uh, do we have a map of like the entire world? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. All right. Uh, so we got to find a backpack. That's really our goal for right now. And it's a goal that I feel okay about. I'm going to follow the road for a little while and we'll see if we can find our way around if and when we can't. What is that over there? It says there's something over here. Oh, there's a rabbit. Or something. I don't know. There's some kind of crater over here. A seen him. A done seen him, boss. Oh, we got water and a book over here. The book is probably just like a trade good. Yeah, it is a trade good. Okay. Hold on. I hear a zombie. I heard him. He's making some noise over here. There we go. I want to know how you aim for different body parts. That's a yikes right there. That dude's going to jump at me. All right. We'll melee him down. Are you dead? Good. I need you to be dead. If you're dead, I'm happy. Uh, looks like they can also have, like, modified, upgraded clothing and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. Alright. I actually, I like the level of, like, depth to the looting and the amount of gear and, like, the stuff that exists inside the game. I'm gonna take a rough guess and say that I am not super good 
with a bow and arrow. That's what I'm going to hazard a guess at, is I'm going to say, like, maybe... I'm not super good at firing arrows at things. However, we did kill off that zombie right there, so that's pretty cool. I don't want to use up all my fatigue just yet. There's a campfire over here. This looks like maybe it's another settlement over here, possibly. I mean, I guess it could be a bandit camp. You never know until you pull up on them. Hopefully I don't walk into this thing and get shot to pieces instantly. Alright, I threw a little save on the docket, but we'll take a look over here and see what's going on. I actually kind of like this, dude. I like the presentation of it, and I'm sort of like feeling myself being like, this is pretty sweet. They won't open the gate if they don't know you. Try to attract the attention of a guard. Okay. I don't see anybody. A ripe pepper plant. Guess I can't get it through the fence even though it lets me do the interaction. I was going to try to be a scum lord. Looks like they've got a nice little farm over here though. Yeah. A little farm with varying levels of stuff that's been grown and otherwise cultivated. Whoa, that scared the hell out of me. So apparently you can slip and fall down hills. All right. Oh, wow, there's a dead guy in there. Looks like he had a lot of loot, too. Am I still hidden? If there's nobody here, dude, I'm going to grave rob it. I need a backpack, so, like, there we go. I can now carry 84 pounds. Body armor is stab rated and will protect against threats. Yeah, I got body armor now, dude. I don't really want the vest. The, balac oh, the balaclava is kind of a cool idea. There's a shotgun in there with some shells. Yeah, I'll take all of it, dude. I wasn't, like, planning on on grave robbing today. That being said... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So, like... If the bad guys don't care that I just robbed that bank, or I'm sorry, robbed that grave right there, why should I care? He's dead. He doesn't need it. Chat, if I ever die in a post-apocalyptic situation, you happen upon my body, and I've got loot that you can use in order to survive. Here's what I ask you. All right, chat? This is all I ask. I don't ask much, but this is it. What I ask of you is that, like, yeah, you can take my stuff. Don't even stress about that. That's cool. Take my stuff. Survive. Thrive. I don't need it anymore where I've gone. Just don't leave my body like naked in an alleyway like a Skyrim character that's been looted. You know what I mean? Bury me. Just don't leave me ass to the breeze. That's all I ask of any of you. And I feel like that's a very I feel like that's a very fair and reasonable expectation. You can have my stuff so long as you just don't leave me with my booty hole to the sky. Okay? That's all that I want. And if you can do that for me, fair enough. My stuff is yours. Go for it. Uh, I think we're probably, like, full up at this point. We should probably, like, get out of here and see if maybe we can, uh... Oh, nice. The pickaxe is kind of cool. I like the swing animation on it. He's got kind of, like, a like a martial arts swing to it. This is one of those games that, like, instantaneously you can see what they're going for, though. They're making, like, an open-world sandbox extravaganza where you kind of just, like, do whatever you want. Now, the story mode has not been implemented yet, but I've been told there is a story mode planned. I don't know when that's going to be dropping, but for right now, it sounds like they're kind of, like... There's a pickaxe in there? Oh, we could have got another one. Uh, but for right now, I, I think they're working on getting all the sandbox pieces together from what I've read. Uh, before they go out and put like all the you know all the storyline stuff in but like a lot of games they don't telegraph super well what they're trying to do this game within like five ten minutes of playing you kind of get that feeling the same way that I did with Kenchi where it's like oh I, I see what you're going for here this is like an actual sandbox like no narrative no storyline just your character versus the map surviving in a hostile world like, I like that, though. I dig it. I played way too much State of Decay 1 and 2. I've played a load of Kenshi, 
And so like little sandbox titles like this that really don't force you to play in any particular prescribed way are always really, really fun. Is that still cooking? Like somebody should definitely take that off of there. Like I don't think it should count as theft for me to take that off of there because I want to cook my food. Like I'm hungry. Like look at this. Uh-huh. Tango hombre, bro. I mean, I guess I could just eat the corn, and it's not really that big of a deal. Water seems to hold together pretty good, too. I don't know exactly how all of these things level up. It does look as though it's getting some amount of XP to these various things. It doesn't look like I'm good at archery. It doesn't look like I'm good at hand-to-hand. -hand. There's a lot of things that I, as a human being, am not good at. Uh, where's Abby at? Where'd Abby go? She was over here just a second. Can I get into this outhouse right here? Oh, I could have. So this guy's like a guard, Brandon Hickman. You got any work? It's a gang of looters that are extorting gold from us. Think you can deal with them? Yeah, dude. I've been looking for somebody like you. I'll pay you in gold. The best strategy is to assassinate the leader, Molly Atkinson. Without her, they won't be organized enough to retaliate. Okay. Bring me her body so that we can all see that she's dead. We're counting on you. Okay. All right. Like, I feel like that's something we can probably, like... I feel like that's probably something we can facilitate out here. Alright, so you got some stuff here. I guess I don't much need the bow anymore, do I? Oh, she's only got two dollars. Okay, so I gotta find Abby, dude. Otherwise, we're never gonna get anything done over here. There we go. Alright, let's trade some supplies out here. Alright, so she got 18 bucks. I can get rid of the bow, like, right now and just take that money. That's just cash in the bank, alright? I'll probably get rid of that. I've got a cooking pot. I've got a feeling I'm probably going to need that cooking pot as time goes along. Uh, I've got the flint. I'm going to keep that so that I can make a fire. I'll sell you that for five bucks. I don't know if I'm carrying around anything else. Like, what am I carrying that's, like, super heavy? You know, we got the pickaxe. We got the axe, obviously. The pickaxe is 14 pounds. Okay, let me have the ears of corn. And then you can take the pickaxe because that's just way too much inventory space gone. You can have the books. Honestly, you can take the skin to rabbit too. I don't really care about Oh, it's too heavy for her to carry. Feels bad. Okay, so she's not allowed to carry that. She's got a blue strain antigen. You can take my yellow strain, I guess. I don't know what the yellow strain does, but you can have it. A catering bucket. Seeing storage. Look at powders and food. It can also be used to make rabbit traps. Interesting. What is your opinion of me? I appreciate your generosity. You've been a useful source of supplies and you're a valued customer, but I don't really know you. Nice. Well, I mean, it looks like we can make a relationship with some of these people too. I don't know how I sleep. So I was looking at my menu here and we've got sleep deprivation. I'm assuming every time it gets up to one of these little like, one of these little marks right here, one of these little lines, my guess is that we're gonna take some kind of like penalty, but I don't know how to sleep. Haven't figured that part out yet. Apparently, oh, you cannot enter a building that is a part of a different community. Oh, wonder if I can sleep in cars and stuff then. I guess that's something we're going to have to figure out by the time we play again. My name is Spl uh, Splattercat. This is Survivalist Invisible Strain. I'm actually like super on board with the idea that they're playing with right now. The game is not the prettiest game. It's not like the biggest looker. Uh, it's got kind of a weird UI, but at the same time, once you get used to the way that it's like displaying the stuff that's happening and what's going on, like I said, you can instantaneously see what this game is going for with regards to like its mechanics. Like you can tell what it's after. Uh, apparently I can fast, I can like fast forward through time or something. Does that make me rest? It did not make me rest. Okay, I thought maybe just like sitting in the car would allow me to like nap or something like that. So we're going to have to figure out how to sleep before too long. But anyways, I'll see y'all later. Get the game down below. It's in early access right now. It's actively being developed. And actually, my first impressions of the game are pretty positive. Uh, the combat's a little bit weird, especially with like ranged weapons or whatever. But like, it's just, it's not bad. It's just, it takes some getting used to. Like, you've got to figure it out first. So anyways, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping on in. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. Uh, be sure to check the links out down below for like the Twitch stream and stuff like that because I'd love to have you there. And then that's all I got for you today. I'll be back tomorrow with more fun stuff off the indie skillet. 
Goodbye.